You are on Rescue TV with Rescue's latest expert, Josh Flynn, a style expert to um, outdo all of the other style experts because <laughs> you've got bite. <laughs> I got teeth. You got teeth. Yeah, not too sharp, but I'm sharpening them as we speak. So. I love that. I love it. So it's spring summer. Mm. We're opening up our closets and we're opening up our wallets. Right. So we want to know from you what mistakes not to make and what to gravitate towards without looking like a fashion fool. <laughs> Well, this season, um, fortunately and unfortunately, there are quite a few trends. So a lot of people get really, really confused, especially this spring summer, because there's florals. Yes. There's prints. And all of these you can kind of go wrong with. You, oh, any, like too much floral and you can end up looking like Florence Henderson from the Brady Bunch. Um, there's also print, which is a huge, huge trend. And there's good print and there's uh, bad print. There's a lot of um, graphic print yeah. and a lot of geometric print. Now, and what about I, all this floral geometric, um, kind of the hybrid print? <laughs> it's good, but if you're a first timer, I'd probably dip my toe in rather than jump in head first, because right. you'll probably drown. Oh. Um, the other one that um, I quite like, but is also very tricky, ladies, is um, Sport Lux. Yes. Now, Sport Lux is an interpretation of active wear in a more fashionable way. Yeah. So lots of neoprene, wetsuit material, racer backs. It's quite tight. It can be slimming, but you can also sometimes look like you're auditioning for Flipper. So you have to be really careful. Yes. And let's talk about something that no one in fashion really wants to talk about, but I think it is important to mm -hmm. kind of touch on. Age-appropriate dressing. Yes. Is there such a thing? Yes. Okay. Mutton can be dressed as lamb and it can't be stuffed with rosemary to make it smell any better. Right. Um, if you are over the age of 50, I do suggest covering your knees. Yep. Even if you've had them reconstructed, I think you should actually cover them. A lot of celebs make the mistake, especially, of getting the whole revamp top to toe and forgetting the knees. So I think if you're not gonna do that, I think you should, you don't have to dress like an old woman. Yep. You just have to show off the bits you've got left, which are probably, that sounds terrible, but what I mean is show off your beautiful arms if you, you know, if you tone them and you like, you know, pushing the grandkids around in the, you know, bugaboo. Um, if you've got great legs, wear trousers that fit you because they'll make you look longer and a beautiful blouse. I think the older you get, I think you should look more chic and stay to one particular look that works for you rather than follow trends. All right. So, as you were saying before, there are a lot of trends, and you've covered a couple yeah. of fun ones for us. You've yes. done leather and lace for us yes. uh, in your very fun, but actually approachable <laughs> way. In fact, I used that particular post to edit myself when I was in the dressing room of Zara in New York a couple of weeks ago, because <laughs> I thought, okay, this, this can go one of two ways. So I did <laughs> yeah. use your checklist as my checklist, and thank you. I want to thank you. No problem. Um, but let's go back to what we can do with the trends that's going to update our wardrobe, because there are very few people that can invest in an entirely new wardrobe every season. Definitely. So, Key pieces okay. are, are the way to go. So if leather is a trend, which it is, and it will continue. Even for, into summer? Absolutely. Okay. I would invest in a high quality but quite a plain piece. So a beautiful cropped leather bomber jacket in a soft kid leather. Okay. It's, I mean, you may be paying... You Still know, black? Yes. And that's what I'd probably do because that way you can wear it with a maxi skirt, you can wear it with trousers, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with a cocktail dress. Yep. It's got so much more uses that it'll actually extend your wardrobe rather than limit it. Fair enough. And what other trends? You were talking about the florals. Are there yes. florals that suit... Or are there colours in the florals that we, we should go towards? Definitely. I would go with the uh, cornflower blue. That's yeah, a huge that's one. That's a great uh, one. Beckham Bridge did this amazing chiffon print with all cornflower blue flowers all over it. It's not crazy. It's not out there. It doesn't look trend-based. The shapes are still very trend-based, but if you can find something with quite a bold floral, not a small kind of Laura Ashley floral, yep. and you team it back with plainer garments, like some beautiful fitted jeans and a really nice plain coloured jacket, yeah. it's going to last you a lot longer than if you go with something that looks like you know Andy Warhol threw up on it. And what about blazers? They seem mm -hmm. to be a really key piece. Mm -hmm. and they've come through all the way from winter and we're seeing still a lot of blazers. Mm -hmm. Are they a good investment piece? Absolutely. Um, during the Dave Jones Spring Summer launch, I saw uh, my new favourite blazer for this season, and it's by Carl Cap. 
It's actually quite structured, but very, very flowing. So that's it's a hard thing to do. It's a hard meld to get for a designer to be able to do that without yeah, making I see what it look saying. like a straight jacket. Yeah. But it's the fabric you choose. Choose really flowing, effortless fabrics in quite plain colours, and then you can jazz it up with a dress underneath in that wetsuit material. So you're kind of getting sport lux and still another trend with the blazer, but the blazer isn't going anywhere. So let's talk about dresses mm -hmm. because there's always the kind of battle of what hem length. Is Maxi still in? I mean, we kept on hearing from uh, Miranda Kerr, Maxi, Maxi, Maxi. So if it's good enough for Miranda Kerr, I dare say it's good enough for the rest of us. Yep, so, definitely. But, but Maxi has had a bad rap. It has, and a lot of people wear a maxi the wrong way. Right. A lot of people wear a maxi to hide their body. Right. And what that ends up doing is they'll go for a size bigger or they'll go for a very shapeless maxi that's literally just a strapless sack. And they think, well, if nobody can see my big bum or my fedubitas, then I'll be fine. And it's like... Fedubitas? Yeah, bingo wings. You right. know, like when you wave and it's still... the new technical term yeah. for the bingo wings. Yeah, like, you know, when you wave and five minutes later, you're still saying goodbye with the underneath of your armpit? Gotcha. Yeah. Not a good look. So a lot of women try to hide everything and that ends up making you look twice as big as you are. So right. if you've got big legs, wear a fitted maxi at the top with a v-neck and then an A-line down the bottom. So we can see the thinner top half and hide your bigger bottom half. Now I know that you actually went in and dressed Miranda for mm. the recent David Jones show. Do you have any of her style tips that you can share with our audience mm -hmm. that, um, you know, someone like her who's actually a professional in the business, mm. so she, she knows her brand is her. Yes. But are there some things that you learned from working with celebrities like Miranda? Absolutely. Um, when they talk about yoga and fitness, they mean it. Okay. Uh, when she walked in, it literally was like the whole room got brighter. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but you see her on the catwalk and she's got, she's so fit and she's beautiful in print, but very few people are actually more healthy and natural looking without makeup. And all of us there, because all the designers were fitting her on the day, it was just, I mean, her and I have the same figure, you know, which is great. <laughs> Joking. But um, she's just fit, she's healthy. I mean, she's, you know, she's still quite young, but she sticks to it and you can tell. She sticks to a fitness regime and she, she runs with it and she just looks incredible. I, I actually noticed that too when we were in her dressing room uh, getting ready for our interview everything she talks about was actively there as evidence you know there was a little lunch box with carrot sticks mm -hmm. and broccoli and that flour. jar of green juice there was yeah. a jar of green juice there was a jar of coconut juice um, the products that she had laid out that mm -hmm. she uses were all natural they you know they there wasn't coffee being oh brewed. no 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 yeah and, it's, uh, but it's not crazy either it no, doesn't no. seem regimented it just becomes a part of her life i mean i'd have to drink a swimming pool full of that green stuff to glow the way she does but she's just you can tell she's healthy but one of the things that I really admire about her and a couple of other celebrities um, that keep cropping up as being style icons is mm. that they seem to know their body shape yes. and they seem to gravitate towards what works for them. Mm -hmm. So is that something that you, having worked with a lot of, I mean, mm. you, you work with Montana Cox, you were yeah. one of the people who kind of brought her to the forefront of where she is today. Is, is that something that you, every woman can learn? Absolutely. And how? Style is inherent. But it can be learned and you can pick up very, very key tips and tricks and run with them. But everybody's built differently. So okay. it really is a case of assessing your body shape. The more compliments you receive on something, the more you should do it. Because oh, a, a, lot of other of a lot of other people may say, oh, I think those jeans are great. Where did you get those? And then someone else might say that. So you think, okay, well, these jeans are now going to become a staple of my wardrobe. I no longer have to think about what sort of trousers fit me. These do. You can change the pattern. You can change the colour, you can even change the length sometimes, but certain key elements, like listen to feedback. Not always listen to negative feedback because sometimes that's someone being jealous, but once you know your body shape, yeah. stick to it. And what about um, proportionality? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about all these big trends like mm -hmm. prints, um, and there are definitely styles that enhance someone's look and there mm. are styles that swamp someone's Definitely. look. Um, do you have any kind of rule of thumb with big, I mean models can do the entire exit from mm -hmm. a show, yes. but you talked about before picking up on a few key things and just working them back with plain things. Definitely. It, it's kind of like being a bower bird of fashion. You, you, you can absorb a lot of information and by all means, the more, you, the more you know, the more you'll be able to make a more informed decision. Yeah. But you don't have to wear a look top to toe. Mm. I mean, yes, models can do it, but that doesn't necessarily mean because it came out on the catwalk 
top to toe, that you have to follow that, that trend. You can pick key pieces from a look and mix it back and work it back with other key pieces from other looks. It, it is really a case of kind of being more like a fashion pirate, kind of stealing yeah. from one thing and dumping it somewhere else. And as long as these things fit you and you feel comfortable, it doesn't matter what you wear. Well, there you have it, some wonderful tips and really good solid basic tips that Absolutely. we can go shopping with, which is what we love uh, in talking to you. So thank you very, very much. You're welcome. And um, you can look forward to more video and more posts from Josh on Rescue.